Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Bad Comedy Podcast. My name is Emmett Trill. And Ooh, in one. the good version of history, I survived, grew up, moved to Tennessee, and sipped on some scissors. Hell yeah. Married some fat ass white ladies. Yeah. And I'm here with uh, my partner in crime. Uh, I'm a big lizard. Who's that? Big lizard. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Right? Is it like an <laughs> is it like an alligator lizard in the air, like from well, the, from from that America song? I was picking out a rap name and I couldn't. I was thinking, you know, there's a lot of lils. Big lizard is good, but there's like bigs. You know, like there's big X the plug and big pun and it's better than baby seal. How about that? Yeah, baby seal. That's my other name. <laughs> no, baby seal. I forgot about baby seal. Take baby seal away and add big lizard is way better. I'm big lizard. They call me Jar- Charlie's man, Charles Manton, Manton, Charles Manatee, <laughs> Charles Manatee, <laughs> Charles Manatee. All right. <laughs> um. So, uh, Women's Month has been over for a while, and I'm happy about it. So I've I've been saving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I've, happy it's Earth Month. I've, I, well, I've been saving this. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. I've been saving this. Sucker. I've been saving this until April to talk about. But <laughs> uh, everyone celebrates Susan B. Anthony. But what a terrible person! What'd she do? Well, she she's on the you know she's on the half dollar coin, right? Um, People honor her. But you know that she was like they should they should have her on the seventy cents to a dollar coin. Do they, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean. She, women like praise her as a great feminist, but she was the head of the women's suffrage movement. She wanted women to suffer. Like, didn't they suffer enough already? Oh. Like, she needs to be yeah. canceled. We need a an end suffrage movement for women. Yeah, so exactly. So they stop suffraging so much. A- end women's suffrage, yeah. and then they'll be happy, and they won't be suffering. Yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe Biden, maybe do something about that. Or thanks, Obama. Yeah. <laughs> How about Joe Bidet? <laughs> okay, I like that. Um, but by day, dude, I'm kind of, fu- I'm kind Joe of, by day. I'm kind of pissed off. Vampire by night. <laughs> I feel like people don't take our podcast seriously. They, they think it's like ironic or like meta. Well, meanwhile, we come forward with like a little political thing at the beginning of this. Well, they think it's like ironic or meta, and it's not. Everything we say is serious. Yeah. And right now, what I'm saying is serious. And I want you guys to know that. And I'm, when you guys don't think what we say is the, the what we think, or that it's completely true, if we say something offensive, it's real. It's, it's not. Real. It's not ironic at all. Because I'm real. We're real. We're, so, we're, we're, we're real as like Jennifer Lopez. We're real as and 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 guys. We're real. We're real as <laughs> J Lo's. Because <laughs> being a real ass dude does. How about stuff. Deuce Bigelow, male J Lo? he's the male version of Jennifer Trans Lopez. Trans Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's still Rob Schneider. Nice. <laughs> uh, so you watched The Accountant? Yeah, I did. I, I had watched it like a week prior, and I saw. Did you see the same thing I, I saw? I was laughing at the Charles Babbage <laughs> scene. Yeah, yeah but he it, drops the Charles Babbage, and I forgot about Bull. I love Bull. Well, I was in bed. They mentioned Bull I was as in well. bed, like half asleep, and I. Th- my TV was like moving slow, so I I was gonna rewind it and record it, but <laughs> I just didn't have the energy to do it. Yeah, <laughs> dude. He's like, "What's the password?" He's like, "Charles Babbage." <laughs> <laughs> so good. I think I heard another Charles Babbage reference too recently. I never heard of this mother. Well, I mean, low well, key, I, it, low the, key. I'd never heard of this mother the, guy. The thing is, it's and, uh, it's one of those things where you just don't notice it until you. Now he's everywhere. <laughs> well, yeah, you you don't. It's always been there, but you mm-hmm. don't notice it until. It it's like when you something. learn a new word and then you hear everyone saying it. Right. Yeah. Or when you like learn about a company or something. Like yeah. A, like a rental car place. You start seeing them everywhere. Yeah. Or like you, you're looking for a certain type of car. Then you see it. Yeah. Or like if you're uh, if you're like, yeah. if you're like Brian Rowe and you're looking for a young Miker. Or <laughs> if, you, if you see a young Miker, uh-huh. you start looking everywhere for little young yeah. Mikers to talk to. Or like when you watch that videotape and then you die in seven days. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like that. Yeah, unless uh, you make a your son watch it, mm-hmm. then he dies instead yeah. of you. Well, actually, this they <laughs> they tried to call for the son, and it didn't work at first. But then oh. they called back. They called Cindy back, and the they pretended that they were from the Scholastic Book Fair. 
Oh, and she, shit. she fell for it and gave it to the kid. Yeah. That's just, Obviously, the school ethic book fair would be calling my six year old. I think I, th- <laughs> I think that's the scary movie three version of it. Oh, really? But yeah, that oh, that is that's from a movie. Scary movie three is one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. Is that the one with uh, uh, David Cross in a wheelchair? That's two. Oh, I like that one because it has uh, him and it has what's that? Chris Elliott. Yeah, with the little hand. No, that's a great one. Or I mean, <laughs> I, but that one would probably honestly rank in my book third best. Yeah, I think that the third is the best, and the first and the second. I saw the, Scary the, Movie one in theaters when I was a kid. My older okay. brother Joe. I have a brother who's like twelve years older than me. He took me to the theater. I think I was like twelve years old or something. I was scared the first time I watched it. <laughs> well, listen to this. He told me, "Hey, Jay." Uh, my brothers all call me Jay. Big Jay Okerson? <laughs> no, they call me a Little Jay Okerson. Oh. <laughs> uh, but it's an ironic <laughs> name because I'm big. Oh. <laughs> I love how meta and ironic your brothers are. Yeah, they're, they don't even know who Big Jay Okerson is. <laughs> they don't know uh, why they call me that. I'm, I'm Big Jay Okerson. Well, they call me that because I was born from an oak tree. Really? Yeah, I'm the oak son. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Or the ochre son for short. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it sounds better. You yeah. got to add the er in there. Yeah, it flows. Yeah. It's kinda, anyway, my that's brother. That's like how my name is M A K after my initials. Jay, I'm not explaining any of these jokes, but enjoy. He's like, you can't ask me about what the meaning of any of the jokes are because he didn't want to explain sex to me. Oh. Then they showed a preview for a movie called The Others. Mm hmm. And it broke my little mind. I had nightmares for like a month <laughs> from the preview. <laughs> So see the thing they don't warn you about these rated R movies is when you take kids to them, it might not be the movie that scares them; it might be the previews for the other movies. That's true. <laughs> I always thought because there's some rated R previews coming up. I always thought rated R was rated like R worded. Yeah, but I guess that's not the case. Is it the case? Um, what does R R stands for? I don't want to get demonetized. Rated, it's like real, it, it's like real crazy. It's like tatarded. It's, it's for real crazy. Real crazy, yeah. Or like uh, ridiculousness. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's like Rob Deerdick. Rob Deerdick <laughs> watches it. <laughs> Rated R for ridiculousness. <laughs> no, but I think I might be biased on Scary Movie Three because that was the perfect age. Uh, is, any, is anybody phoning it in more than Rob Deerdick? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> How imagine being that rich for phoning it in? Re- rest in peace. Uh, Big. Rest in peace up. Big Black. Big. Rest in peace that DJ screw. Yeah. Rest in peace big. He was th- really good at being a big fat black guy. Hell yeah. He and, was. He was and, great. Yeah. And he had like a Did you ever watch the DC video, the original sketch with Rob Deirdrick and Big? No. It was an old skateboarding flick where Rob Deirdrick is the DC skateboarding. You ever watch skateboarding movies back in the day? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's where I learned about hip hop from. In my small community of mostly whites. That's not where I learned about it, but... That's where I found RJD2. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and no. Definitive Jux Records and a bunch of weird uh, like <laughs> indie, like underground hip-hop that I used to listen to. Yeah. But uh, uh, he he's like, I, he keeps getting kicked out of skate spots. He's like, I need a security guard to protect me from security guards. And he hires Big. Oh, and then they do this sketch in the video where every time the security guards running up, Big runs in and just like knocks out their like little ass security. I guards. may have seen this. <laughs> he pushes them on the ground. Yeah, and then that like <laughs> led to their friendship. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it was a good idea. And he back died. when he had uh, uh, you know, like a light in his eyes. Yeah, Rob Deirdrick when he was like creative and interesting. Yeah, he's like Kyle Scantron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> we love you, Kyle hey, Scantron. Man, in in Kyle's defense, all I do is see him take out the trash at the Lincoln Lodge. <laughs> Kyle, so maybe he'd be having more fun if he was more like he had a more like status job or something. Yeah, Kyle, all we want you to do is help us with ACT test prep. Yeah, uh, they said we have to retake it because they think we're so dumb from this podcast, <laughs> or else our, we lose our degrees. Why do people ask why? Aren't, why aren't more people getting on interested in your podcast? I'm like. <laughs> Maybe they don't know who we're talking about. We talk about the guys who take out the garbage at a <laughs> we're being ultra at an independent comedy club where almost <laughs> no one goes, I, according to the shows we, I'm booked we, on. <laughs> we, we flow in and out. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about garbage men <laughs> by their first and last name. I think over time, I think over time, percentage wise, we've gotten a little bit less <laughs> hyper specific. But I don't know. I know. What about all the people who tuned in for the Charles Charles Babbage talk? <laughs> Hey, a lot of like, people, a lot of people should know who that is. He invented the computer. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, that was a good debate. Who's cooler, white people or black people? And yeah. it, was, it was a stalemate. We don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Sam Talent said, uh, uh, he said he, he laughed at the clip, and I said, why do you think this is funny? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, the argument. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't respond. He also didn't like it on Instagram. Nah, you don't do that. I keep track of the ones that Sam Talent likes, and oh, it's yeah? the two Luchin ones. <laughs> Did you see we got a like on our old uh, Lund clip or a comment? Yeah. Like Lund is having to come up. I commented Lundice Unite. I think it's because he was just on a big podcast. Uh, was he, he was on Stavros's podcast with Sam. Uh, Stavros? Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that so, guy. So Sam, again. I only uh, like, I wait, listened wait. to Come Town, and I only liked... Nick Mullen and I was so mad that this person who seemed to benefit from it the most is Stavros is like come up. Yeah, he was just the laugh, you know, the the second man to yeah. laugh because you you, you want to have that to keep the the genius rolling, <laughs> and then and then <laughs> you have somebody laugh and it encourages the other guy to keep going. Yeah, um, uh, but then you have Adam as the punching bag. Yeah, it was sort of all set up to like make Nick Mullen look good. Yeah, yeah, and it worked. I mean, he's definitely the funniest one, but he also he's a thief. Uh, uh-huh. A joke thief. Yeah, uh, he stole everything. A podcast from us. joke thief, yeah. That's true. Um, and, oh, and he stole my bit about falling. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> Nick Mullen. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. But he's, he's pretty funny, though. It, it was uh, sad to me that everyone liked him. I, I liked him for a while, and I had to stop liking him because everyone else started liking him. Yeah. Like, he kind of became what he, he hates. <laughs> He had like a bunch of people like copying his mustache and saying the n word ironically. Yeah, it sucked. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I met a guy who had a mustache, and I guessed he liked Come Town. He did. Really? Yeah, I could tell. He was a little white guy with a mustache. I was like, "Do you like Come Town?" He said, "Yeah." I think I told you about this, but after the Gazelles, <laughs> I I was wearing my bad comedy stuff, and we were at Estelle's, I think. And then this guy like asked about the podcast. I was like, "Yeah, I have a podcast." And then, um. It, uh, he's like, oh, it's a comedy podcast. Like, mm-hmm. uh, what's it like? I was like, I don't know. Like, uh, do you do you listen to comedy podcasts? I was like, kind of like like Come Town or, or Real Ass Podcast, yeah, yeah, next and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. He's like, I'm a cum boy. I'm a huge cum boy. And he was super gay. Real Ass Podcast is cool, but what about Real Ass People Podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like th- did so that come out? <laughs> we did some podcasts with a guy locally. It sucked. What <laughs> the podcast we did? Which one? The Real People Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about our live podcast? No, we went into that guy's basement. Oh, you He's, didn't like that one? He seemed like a cool guy, but I just felt no chemistry in that conversation at all. No, we were we ran the podcast. I guess it was. Wait, the <laughs> did it come out that old one? I, no, that guy. We just went into his house. Yeah, the, it was. How was it old? It was like a month ago in Philadelphia. No, or in Pittsburgh, in, in Chicago. Oh, we Mike went, Knight. Yeah. Oh, it came out. Uh, you know my problem with Mike Knight. He's always he's always defending women and minorities and stuff. He's a real, <laughs> he's been always being a real white Mike Knight. <laughs> he really wasn't though. No, no, he's not. He's not. He doesn't do that. I just wanted to play on his last name. That's pretty good. Well, I don't like Mike Knight because I like the daytime. I'm yeah. I'm uh, early bird gets the worm. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a day. You're more of a Mike Day I'm guy. I'm a day man. <laughs> ah. Um, but it's like the only episode of Always Sunny I ever saw because my roommate was like, you got to hear the song. It, fucking rocks yeah. <laughs> I, th- I thought you were talking about the podcast we did in pittsburgh no we did a podcast on a guy's couch yeah 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 mike knight yeah, he's yeah. like don't let him see your dunkin donuts cup and all that <laughs> remember that <laughs> it could have been then good you though. told them all the bits from our podcast on his <laughs> podcast and i just kind of sat in between you guys and had no chemistry with anybody i yeah. was like oh, i hate this it was kind of weird because we couldn't really like see each other um, really like i, I, I we could, I could look across, kind of. And yeah, I don't know. I felt like we were Logan and Jake Paul, and he was. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of a third person. Black Paul. He was. Uh, fuck it. Uh, what about what, sucked. Paul Logan? <laughs> yeah, he's Paul Logan. <laughs> <laughs> um. So when I was in Cocaine Murder Jam, we did a sketch where me and my Kanish were Logan and Jake Paul. I'd say I'm Jake Paul, Logan's African American brother. Ah, uh, nice. And then we would we were in the tomb for Tupac's tomb, and we were gonna open it to see if. His skeleton was in there to prove that he died. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and then uh and then we make a bet that if whoever loses, 
I think it's in there, and he thinks it's not, and whoever loses has to put shaving cream on their penis. <laughs> Like and, then, and, and walk around somewhere. Or something? No, that's it. that's that's the bad part. So they could just yeah just put it down their pants. Yeah, it would suck. Why? <laughs> We're Logan and Jake Paul, dude. We do crazy. Uh-huh. We're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so then we open the. Tomb. I'm more of a Mr. Beast we, guy. We open the tomb and there's two skeletons in there. Oh. <laughs> and we're like, what the hell? And then they they're wearing the same hats as us. Okay. And then they come to live and strangle us. And then the, the, oh. and then we play da da dun da dun da dun da da. And that was the end of our show. Okay. <laughs> I like the, I like that idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of playing on the first thing I think you said uh-huh. so, something about <laughs> so, something about a white and black night. Uh, uh well, talking any, about chess. Well, I'm talking about. Patrice O'Neill, his bu- his brother, his white brother, Patrick O'Neill. Oh yeah, forgot yeah, about that guy. He's still around. He's he's fat. He sits in a chair. Um, he's always talking about racial stuff. Yeah, he he always he always walks half the crowd. The other half of the crowd is just dying, <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, Patrick O'Neill. Yeah, Patrick O'Neill. It sounds like a bar in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick O'Neill. It is so funny that <laughs> but you can just change Patrice O'Neill's like, super black sounding name yeah. by just like one letter. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It sounds like the most Irish name you can ever have. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that the most famous Patrice is a guy? Like Patrice is a woman's name. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's one famous I Patrice it, that I could think of as Patrice O'Neill guy. Is it though? I think that Oh, it, Patrice is a I, th- I think that it, it could be either cuz I've never there's only one guy Patrice I've ever heard of. Cuz I know a male Latrice. Latrice, well that's a new name, I don't know. And he's a fat black dude. <laughs> He was an old customer of mine. Are you? If your last name, if the, la- the second part of your first name is Treese, you have to be fat. I, I think tre- if because it, it's short for treats. I think if Treese, I think it maybe it, this is like the conjugations for for black people. So like, if it's Patricia, uh, that's my grandma's name. But if it's pa- Patrice, then it's male. Uh huh. You know, if it ends with C E, then it's male. Ends with A, it's female. So no, there's like Latoya or Latrice. <laughs> this is not right. <laughs> they're definitely Patricia Patrice. They're definitely female Patrice. I think you're right about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, hey, listeners, let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah, yeah Because yeah. we would like to know. Uh, but um, my grandma's name is Patricia. Shout out to my grandma. My grandma. I know you're listening. My grandma's dead. I know you're listening from heaven. Yeah. Shout out to Max. Grandma, it's too bad they don't have uh, the heaven count in our uh, Instagram views. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's too bad that those views don't get counted by YouTube. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How many views we're getting? Think from about Halloween. all the people looking down it's on us. It's crazy. I feel like there's a lot more from hell. Uh, yeah. There has to be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. if You want Hitler in your count? <laughs> I mean, he's got a big, he has a big <laughs> following. He still has a following. Yeah. I mean, we can just take advantage of that. I mean, are you saying we should get Hitler's following? Yes. <laughs> Scared money don't make no money. <laughs> That's true. I'm in money mode. Did I tell you that? You're in money mode. Yeah. yeah. I am too. I mean, the money. The money is the motive. And yeah. You yeah. Fuck with the money, dude. That uh, is it, so. It, it get ugly as coyote. That is so crazy. I just bought some shirts from an online store called Money Motive. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I quoted Lil Wayne in uh, my Money Mac video. And I said, scared money don't make no money. Because uh-huh. that's actually a thing they say in the biz. Yeah, yeah. Scared money in, uh, doesn't make money. In the in the, bi- the the stock biz. Stock biz? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, lower risk, lower reward, you know. I came up with a saying. I always say, yeah, spend money to make money. That's why I tell all my clients. <laughs> yeah, it's also true. Yeah, <laughs> it's also pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I also, you know, what my uh, financial philosophy has always been, and I was taught this by my brother Eric. What? Easy come, easy go. <laughs> That's what we. He'd always have a. a he'd always, my brother Eric always had a big stack of cash on him, and then we'd go to the casino and he'd lose like a bunch of money. And yeah. He'd go, it's all right. It's all good, Jay. Easy come, easy go. Okay. Easy come, easy go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he says about dollars. About losing money. About yeah. losing all of his money. About money in general. <laughs> and I agree with him. Easy come, easy go. It's not always easy come though. Sometimes it's, nah, it is. Some, well, I it mean, is when you're when I'm in money mode. I mean, I love <laughs> I love working. It's my favorite hobby. So, like, 
I, I, I just, hey, man, when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Well, I love working. So it it's, sucks for you because that you love it. No, <laughs> so I, you never work, and that's what you love, so no, you never do it. Well, I, I have a different take on that saying. <laughs> I love working, so I work every day of my life. But everyone knows that if you if you well, if love you, what you do, you never work a day in your life. But I love working, so I, I work every day so of my life. So you never work. Well, that, that... I knew you were lazy. I proved that wrong. <laughs> you never work a day I in your life. I proved that wrong. That's because that's you're lazy. No, I prove that because you only do what you love. I prove that adage wrong. You could uh, suck on a a dish. You're you're Charles adage. You're Charles adage. Charles Charles adage. Oh wait, shit! It's uh Charles Abacus. You're not recording, are you? Oh, you are. Yeah, no, dude. It's uh, ad time. Um, so I actually have a new sponsorship. Um, I got this in the mail from. Magnum Trojan Magnum Whoa. condoms. Did you hide that under there? <laughs> large size raw. I guess they just saw that I have big dick energy. And yeah, wanted, yeah. Uh, um, so make sure to get. Um, Do you have to wear them while you record? No, no, no. Oh, okay, good. But uh, make sure to get uh, Trojan Magnum condoms. You guys know the brand. They're yeah. the best. And this is raw. It's the thinnest Magnum condom. But it's only if, if you got a, a BD, yeah. a big wiener. Okay. <laughs> So would it be funny if there's are selling condoms called Magnum Raw and then you open it, there's nothing in there, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, you just fuck raw." Unfortunately, <laughs> most of our fan base has has little dicks. Yeah, so that's why they also for for Jason, they got we, we're also sponsored by Jason Melton Custom Fit Condoms. They're s- super. See, they're now they're so this is they're this size, folks. If you yeah. wanna see in the camera. That's uh, our. Is, by the way, these are uh, Jason Melton custom fit. I guess he had them made, and then on the back, I wrote in the description that this was a bad idea because while that might be the correct size, it's it's our. I don't use condoms. Well, <laughs> I mean, my girl has a tiny, tiny, tiny vagina, and that small extra layer of condom, my dick won't fit inside her. I mean, they I s- have to go raw. They sent this to me for you. You so you must have. S- sent them something to model this off of. Yeah, I sent. Yeah, I sent them this the mold. Custom fit, con- it's, but it's, I, I'm telling you, I can't use well, them. So, well, this, well, that's what is annoying to me is like I told them like I can. Expi- all right, you I can, can send it. me condoms, but I'm just gonna throw them away if I add even a, the tiniest sliver of extra size to my dick. I won't fit in my girl. She's well, too tight. I, 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 I can explain that right here. It says ribbed for his pleasure. The man Jason is having sex with. So I'm not having sex. So with it's for men. men. See, look, it says in the fact, bag. I'm the only person mm-hmm. on this podcast we've ever had on who has a love in his life, who is a woman. In fact, every other person we've had on this podcast, we've had, I'm pretty sure, is gay. We've had well, they one non-gay person. <sighs> oh, I guess we had my girlfriend on. Dando Simo <laughs> is not gay. She's not gay. She's Dan- the love of my life. Dando Simo. We had right? one person on. That's who true. was like me, and oh. it was my love of my life. Well, that's why in that one theme song that I made, where the house and gas are gay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone is... So the only non-gay person we've had is Dan Dosimo. That's true, probably. Because Dan's not binary. So Dan's only gay if he... He's only gay... If they have sex with non-binary people. He's in money mode. Yeah. <laughs> um, how's Beer Belly been recently? We had the ten year anniversary. Oh, the actual ten year anniversary. I, I was actually gonna go. I didn't remember the anniversary, but I had a. I got so fucking. I had an awful set. You did. Yeah, I opened it up. I didn't know. I didn't plan anything. I couldn't think of anything I wanted to say. So I just kind of told the history of Beer Belly, and then the mic kind of went out, and then a woman in the front started talking on Facetime. Oh my to god! To somebody, and I go. Stop talking on FaceTime or step out of the room. And she goes, I'm not. Or I said, stop talking on the phone. <laughs> and she goes, I'm not. I go, yeah, you are. And I was really mean to her. And then <laughs> <laughs> it was not super funny. She was like, the created j- a lot of tension. And, and it, then it uh, was kind of like this. Uh, n- no, it was more like tense. It was like, <laughs> like this. Yeah, it was more like that. So then whatever, she stopped for a minute and then she <laughs> and then she um and then later uh 
she started doing it again later at my set, <laughs> and oh. I got mad at her again. Ruh, and then ruh. she said, put me up there. I'll own you right now. I go, you know what? No, you can't go up at all tonight. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you. Like, I'm not putting you on the stage at all, ever. I think you were scary, Jason. I was not scary. I was, uh, well, I was scary of what I might do to her. No, you were scary. I might kill her because no, I was so fucking You were angry. scary in the way Rendell would say it. I was not scary. In fact, if I was so scary, come how come I screamed at her to shut up? <laughs> that doesn't seem scary. When you, when, when I you, go, shut up. And then did you say, Miss Cozy? You, you say, I mean, sorry. I said, who are you? I want to cross your name off the list. Are you Mike Dwyer? Did you say, who are you? And oh, I'm so sorry. So I had a bad set, but uh, a lot of black people came out and they all told me, I've been trying to come to this one for years. And I don't know. There's like a, It was like 50-50 black and white for like the was first time like ever. Was it Southern, uh, <laughs> South Side? It was a bunch of South Side comics came out, basically. Did, like, did Will Hill and Chris Fort come out? No, but uh, uh, what's his name? L- Laro? What, Laro? Laro. Uh, what's his first name? The comedian? Uh, yeah, Laro. I forget his first name. It's Laro. He was there and uh, Shakes, Marcus Shakes. And there was this other guy who I didn't know and I forget his name, but he mm. was really funny. Older black guy. Can you be a huge favor and write down Laro at the bottom? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I have Patreon. Uh, so uh, <laughs> he's on Patreon? Uh, no, I just got something. I oh. Uh, oh, you want that as a note? We should have him on. Uh, oh, yeah, we could have him on. I think he was dating this girl who was heckling me. But all those people compliment all the black people were like, dude, your playlist is so good. And they were asking me for the playlist. So of what I had a horrible comedy set, but I got a lot of compliments on my music that I was playing throughout the open mic. Oh, yeah, because it's which is just the old beer belly playlist. though. So the person that was doing FaceTime, they were white. No. (laughs) What? I mean, I'll be honest. I don't really see race. I don't know what she was, but uh, is it was it a human audience? Yeah, it was just a, there's just one audience, the human audience. <laughs> I only know all those comedians are black because they went on stage and said, "Hey, I'm black." Uh huh. Then I knew. <laughs> what about but I couldn't see race. Uh huh. Be- Benedict Arnold, Ben Penis Arnold. Um, did I ever tell you my thing about black people on their phones? Uh, no, but there's a lot of jokes about that. Well, I always thought like there's a lot of black people on their phones. Like, what's up with that? And I thought, well, maybe. Because black people are like minorities. They're always around a lot of white people. They want to call a black person and have like some camaraderie. They're like, don't feel like they fit in. So that's why they call on the phone so much. That's what I thought. Then I went to my girlfriend's Christmas, an old girlfriend's Christmas, and it was a huge family party, all black people. I was the only white person there. And who's sitting on the couch but some black person just on their phone. So I'm like, well, that disproves my theory. Yeah, no. (laughs) They're on the phone around each other. Like Mike Robinson would talk on the phone so much, and I was like, "Why do black people talk on the phone so much?" I don't know. I I hate talking on the phone. They talk on the phone a lot, and they don't drive cabs. Yeah, it's like cab drivers also talk on the phone a lot. Yeah, weird. Seems like we maybe we should do a Venn diagram. I only like talking on the phone if I could be on speakerphone. Yeah, so I don't do it on uh, on the bus. On the bus. Well, yeah. so I mean, you know, remember that one time I lost my AirPods? Uh-huh. I was like, I was like. <laughs> How the, how the heck did I lose my AirPods, you know? You lose everything. <laughs> so I lost my AirPods, and then... So I started having to listen to music off the speaker of my phone uh, while I'm on the bus. So I would be listening to, like, Gunna and, uh, like, uh, <laughs> Lil Dirk on the bus. But everyone else on the bus Dirk, was doing... The, well, everyone else on the bus was doing the same thing. So it was kind of cool. Yeah, it just all sound is like let's time it. And they all played it. Play it just time. happened to all be timed. It, well, actually, it King Louie, I was playing "Live and Die in Chicago," uh-huh. and there was about twenty phones on the bus all playing <laughs> "Live and Die in Chicago." <laughs> so we were all dude. just like, we hit them, hit it as a VHA just to see you tomorrow. Hell yeah! Speaking of King Louie, come pick up your sweater. Yeah, like, I still have it, and I need Shout I need to you to sign my picture. To put it on the wall of fame if you come soon. Otherwise, wall of ops. <laughs> We're going to have King Louie on a wall of ops. <laughs> Ted, well, I guess King Louie is GD. Oh, shit. And you know my old affiliations. Goddamn. I do want to say I don't affiliate with either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Publicly. <laughs> no, you say it on here every week. No. Yeah. In fact, we've been getting complaints. The bloods are mad. <laughs> so it says on your hat you're an expert dealer. That's that's uh, is that de- dealing dick to men. Hell no, dude. 
Why do you keep wanting me to be gay so you could date me? I'm the one who's having sex with a woman, and that's why I was late today. Um, Remember how mad you were? And I, I was like, I'm sorry I'm late, Mac. I didn't mean to be late. I was having sex with my girl, and that's why I'm one minute late. You didn't say that. <laughs> it was, I was one minute late. <laughs> Um, I prepared that joke on the way when I was coming here, like <laughs> being 15 minutes late. God, when I'm doing like home improvements, but stuff, you know what happened is I legit did go to come here, and my girl is like, "Let's have sex," and then we had sex. Yeah. That's why I'm late. No, <laughs> that's why I'm late. Well, yeah, because no. I was like, I was like, I'm running so late, and she's like, "Don't go and grab my dick," and I was like, "All right, fuck yeah. back. I hate him." Well, well no, <laughs> and and, beca- and, with you. and because our our plan got more flexible, so I was like, yeah. "It's all good. You can be late." Our plan got more flexible, and then my girlfriend got more flexible, and then so and then so that added <laughs> one that love. added one minute to your. To your yeah, time. And that's why I'm one minute late. Dude, <laughs> I need to like put like a reminder sign somewhere, like write down my ideas. Yeah. You know? That's what I've been doing with this. No, but I'm saying I think of so many funny ideas like when I'm doing home improvement shit. Oh, just put it in your phone. Dude. I know. God damn, it's I, so easy. I just need to have a reminder to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually have like a neurosis. Like I feel like if I don't write it down, I'm gonna die. Yeah. So I, I write down all sorts of shit, and then I never look at it again because my notebooks are just full of bullshit notes. Yeah. I I need. Uh, what's One the... time I was seeing a therapist, and I was talking about my to do list a lot, <laughs> and he said, "How would you feel if you, I deleted your to do list?" And I felt an anger rise up in me, like I was wanted to fight my therapist for even suggesting it. <laughs> <laughs> he like had clearly discovered something about me, and he did like a little psychology on me. Yeah, he like made me angry at him. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a good note? How's it going, everyone? <laughs> Is that your opener? I guess <laughs> you working on some stand up. I, I don't know what that. Yeah, I guess that was maybe I was writing out a set. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Why I need to write that down. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's good. You want to have what you want to pick out your opening because there's different there's different ways you open. You could say, "How's it going, everybody?" You could say, "Oh, was good with it." <laughs> you, you, you could say, yeah. "You could say uh, it's good to be here. It's bad to be here." Uh huh. <laughs> uh, you could say, uh, how, I, "Are you guys gl- glad you're here?" I don't think I've opened up with "It's bad to be here." Yeah. <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> you guys are all gay. This here. crowd is bad. <laughs> Yeah. I, I say that on stage too much. Yeah, I I don't like uh, coming at the crowd. That that's not something I like to do because I don't want to get turned against. You know. Yeah. Especially, I love when Brian Rowe turns on the crowd and then uh, just they migrate like hundreds of thousands at once. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. Eighty people leave end of the line. So you've been listening to any good history? I've been listening to uh, the rest is history with Tom Holland. No. I and listen the, to this podcast. This legit. The two uh, British guys doing funny quips. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. It's. I understand. Wow, you asked me a question. Didn't even wait hold for on, your response. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> really quick. Um, really quick. I know how you. Uh, you probably hate like the like Monty Python humor. I don't hate it. I just think I, it's I, don't, I uh, hate out that. of date. I hate it's that. like kind of out of date. I re- I like have an appreciation for it somewhere, but. Well, th- also, those guys were all into philosophy, and they make lots of philosophy references, mm. and I like philosophy, so I like that. On this podcast, this other guy just makes fun of Tom Holland, but they also talk about like real history, and they're both really smart. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, you told me about it. I subscribed. I haven't listened to it. It's like, yeah, you're gay. <laughs> I haven't been listening to a lot of podcasts. I listened to one podcast called "The Complete Guide to Everything." It's two guys who don't really know that much, and they just talk about everything. They have like a different subject every week. I checked out a pod called it's called Let Them Fight podcast, and it's uh, basically they go they talk about a person from history each episode, and it's mm-hmm. two super fat guys from like San Diego. Ooh, and they're they're comics, so it's a comedy and history podcast. I need a podcast that like the problem with Dan Carlin and shit is it's too interesting, and I feel like if I miss something, I have to rewind. I like I've been listening to this podcast where it's like two guys who really don't know that much, just kind of joking around about Wendy's or whatever the fuck they're talking about that week. Yeah, and uh, <clears> that way I don't. If I miss something, I don't care. Because yeah, because he does yeah. like a, he does like a timeline, and you have to. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, and also it's like really good. And with the rest of history, you can listen to it without having to, uh, if you miss something. It's not I a big feel deal. bad if I like because I'm trying to like learn it. If it's something I'm trying <laughs> to learn, I'll get like too like focused on it. Well, it, I have too many <clears> distractions. 
Well, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to watch 100 movies a day lately. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed my letterboxed. Yeah. Uh, I haven't. <laughs> I kind of stopped uh, doing it as much recently, but for a while I was watching three or four movies a day and writing reviews on all of them. I've literally, it was very compulsive and insane. <laughs> I've literally been working or doing home improvement all day until bedtime. I wake up at night, eight or yeah, nine. And you're then, compulsive and insane as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just different. Yeah. Different. Uh, I, I do. I do watch uh, a movie as I'm going to bed. Yeah. Uh, normally fall asleep halfway through. The accountant was fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. I've that, never <clears> like. <throat> it was like I should have called it Forrest Gump too. I know, but dude, somehow I think it's always because I'm either hungover or like about to go to bed when I turn it on. Yeah. I've never gotten to the end. This oh my God, the end is sick. Oh, wait, is the end when he sees his brother? He basically. Okay. There's not much after that. Right. Spoiler alert. There, but yeah, I liked this cool Airstream trailer he had. Dude, he had fucking everything in there. Yeah, that, he, those, he, he right. had money from different. Co- okay. Oh, they had like what? a what was it like a, an original mayonnaise? Dude, he had a bunch of uh, mayonnaise. So, okay, <laughs> he had a, he had original mayonnaise on his ceiling. Yeah, it was a Pollock, but there was Jackson Pollock. Okay, so there. Speaking of cool white guys. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay, so there's a Monet and a Manet. Correct? Monet. There's a Monet and Monet, a, Monet, 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 Manet. <laughs> there was a wasn't there a Monet? I don't and know. A Manet ar- I think you're right. I think you're right. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Monet did impressionism. I actually know about Monet a little bit. I know it as a, it's like dots and. Well, it was like or, he also did that one where it's like a bunch of people at the park, but it's kind of like whatever. Yeah, it's like dots. Yeah, kind of. Not dots, but. Uh, kind of. Like, no, it's impressionism. It's like. Uh, I know which one you're talking about. Blurry. The lady it's, has an umbrella. and. The... Yeah. I don't think it's dots, though. I think it's just kind of blurry. The feathers. Yeah, oh, no, his, his, the whole thing about impressionism is like you just kind of have an impression of it. You don't know quite the details. Yeah, because <laughs> before that, everything was like very realistic. They paint like the most detail was the best painter. I like the real. So he, he was like, what if you just paint a bunch of blurry bullshit? Yeah, I don't like and that. Fame. Well, actually, I like I like crazy. his. But when it gets too abstract, I'm like, nope. <laughs> no, I don't like it when it's abstract. I like surreal, though, like uh, Dolly. Like, um, like, uh, like my, my, well, <laughs> that's a real melted clock. Uh-huh. Um, you guys can't even see it on the screen, but what I think he was painting melting. real melted clocks in the painting. He actually melted some clocks and then painted them. Salvador Dali related to Erica Dali? Uh, I think so. Yeah. In the fact that he did uh, try and do something <laughs> evil to me <laughs> that I can't say on the YouTube episode. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, but Mon- we'll talk about what, Erica what, Dali. What did Manet do? He uh, made my sandwich delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, there, there shouldn't be a Monet and a Manet. He mixed them with Chipotle and he went good with cheese curds. I <laughs> I don't agree with Hitler on everything, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but mm-hmm. the I think there should only be realism art. I oh, think, really? I, I think that all other art is uh, is bad and it's whatever word he would use. Well, what about this cool art we do that's like this? Is this not art? It's pretty realism. Okay, that's realism. Yeah. <laughs> the one that like Dan Cass is a skeleton. I guess that's surreal. Surreal. Or something. Yeah. What about dogs playing poker? That's not real. Or no. is it? Oh, that, I, <laughs> I, I think Hitler would be okay with that. Dogs playing poker he, he, is in that movie, Well, he too. loved dogs, and he, he'd be like, that's funny. funny. Yeah. He'd Except like, he, didn't he kill his dog? Funny joke. <laughs> didn't he kill his dog? Um, I think when he killed himself, he yeah. did. But that's like, you, you're going to heaven with me. He, All dogs go he, to heaven. He thought he was going to heaven. <laughs> uh, oh, that man. sucks they got split up then. Yeah, his dog's looking down. Uh, what about his wife, uh, Aretha Franklin or something? <laughs> Imagine it? Hitler being married to a fat <laughs> black lady. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would have won the war. Yeah. Because he would have had all the black people on his side. Imagine Hitler being married to Lizzo. That actually makes sense to me. Because actually, speaking of... That I've seen pictures like Jeff Bezos, I guess, is a huge fan of Lizzo. And there's these oh, pictures of like no. Jeff Bezos hanging out with Lizzo and they're like got their arms around each other. It's just this little bald man and this big black lady. And it's like so much evil. <laughs> just pure evil. <laughs> All right. So let's rank who we hate the most. OK. Jeff Bezos. Oh, we're we talking um, um, Elon Tusk and Mark Zuckerberg. Legitimately, I don't think I don't know if he's the most evil, but I hate Elon Tusk. The who do you, most. Yeah, yeah. Who do you? He's hate? He's my number. I'm one. just talking about who do you hate the most? Yeah. And then probably Bezos, and then probably Zuckerberg. What about Gates? Uh, we'll put Gates in there, but Gates would probably be my least hated. 
He's like the he's like done the best PR for himself uh, oh, by just kind of being quiet. And then put Charles Babbage on there too. And Charles Babbage, he's my least hated <laughs> Babbage. Well, yeah, me too. I like me too. Just put it on there, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll I'll go first. So my least favorite is Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. Because he least favorite has way too much sunscreen on his face. What about Tim Cook? Because you had issues with Apple recently. Um, Should we add him? Ed Dane Cook. Dane Cook, not Tim Cook? Yeah, Dane Cook. Okay. Um, Remember you are having issues with the um, corporation? Yeah, but Tim Cook uh, got someone to help me. Oh, you're fixed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, whatever. Yeah, so with Dane Cook on there. Okay, so least favorite, Mark Zuckerberg. He puts too much sunscreen on his face. Yeah, I like how we're being polite. We're not saying we hate them. We're saying that he, our least favorite. Well, we hate them. No, we hate them. <laughs> All right, most hated. Who do we hate the most? Who do we hate the least? Oh, okay, most hated. Number two, Jeff Benzos. Okay. He's, he's a Lizzo fan. He's bald like Blake. Yeah, yeah. Get some hair, bitch. Yeah, he's like Blake, Blake, I Blake or Bobby people. Buds. I know. Like He's trying to be a comedian like those guys. I try not to judge people for their differences, but fuck bald people. I know. Like, for maybe real. get some hair. You can get yeah. hair. Come Remember, on, have you ever driven to the airport and seen Brian Hairlacker posters? <laughs> I know. If he can do it, you can do it. It's so simple. You just buy the fucking expensive ass yeah. Propecia or whatever. If you're in your 30s or 40s and yeah. you're bald, you need to figure it out. No excuse. Pro- yeah. No except ex- being black. That's cool. No excuse. Yeah. I mean, that Sometimes looks- black people shave their head and they have hair and they just look cool. Oh, it looks awesome. Sick. It looks sick. Yeah. I thought R. Kelly did that for a long time, but then later I think he just got he hair plugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then number three, I'm gonna put. Hold on, uh, you have. Yeah, you gotta see this. You got Musk, and, or you got uh, sorry, um, right, Zuckerberg. I yeah, so um, you're going I hate Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg the most because it's on screen. Jeff Benzos because he he likes Lizzo and he's bald. Um, then Dane Cook because he never got back to me about coming yeah, in the bitch. podcast. He responded to me once, and then when I invited him on the podcast, yeah. he didn't respond. And I was like, "Cool, um, we're trying to br- we're trying to b- kind of bring back your reputation, yeah. which is not great, Dane Chef." Yeah, fuck you, Dane. And then, then I would put Elon because mm-hmm. I think he's kind of a. No, you know what? Then I'm gonna put Gates because Gates, in my mind, is whatever to me. I don't really care about him. He probably invented that that. The name. I almost I, just cut off my nose. He probably invented <laughs> that disease. I don't want to say the name of on YouTube. The Gates, yeah, yeah, but uh, he probably can't even say Bill Gates at this rate. He's just kind of nothing to me, so I've, I'll put Gates there, and then Elon Tusk is my second least hated. Yeah, because I th- I like evil geniuses. Oh, um, he's not. Oh, okay. Wait, I mean, you sorry, can believe that I, if you want. I, I like evil personas. <laughs> I, I like the heel. You know, he I, tries to present himself as a cool guy, though. I, I know. I like it. It's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> my favorite is Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage, he's yeah, cool, of course. Yeah, he Obviously. shouldn't even be on this list. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I hate Elon Musk the most because Elon Tusk because because I think he's not cool and he's trying to pay everyone to think he's cool and it makes me angry that he's got enough money to almost pull it off. I like that. There's a bunch of people online who are like like they're like super fans of his he has like a cult following yeah. they believe all this, these lies about him oh i, I and hate they spread that. lies about him throughout the internet like that one guy that used to be here <laughs> well, he he later realized he was wrong and oh told really me, yeah oh, like wow. off, off uh thing but there's people i've argued with online there's people i've argued with online who are like yeah he did this whole thing with you ever heard the story about him and the guy he sued uh is it something evil yeah all right hold on what did he do <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me turn it down. It's a little bit evil, but it's also a little bit confusing. There was a <laughs> there was a bunch of uh, children stuck in a mine. Did you hear the story? Oh, uh, for children. <laughs> there was a bunch of children in a mine, and Elon Musk said, "I could send these small submarines to you I in, in South America, and uh, they fit their nine. They fit nine year olds. I don't know why he had nine year old submarines. It sounds like he was helping Epstein with something. Yeah." <laughs> He had, like, submarines perfectly designed for children. I mean, you're not going to let the kids fly in a (laughs) private jet. (laughs) No, you want to... Yeah, you got to send them to the island in a submarine the same way a drug lord (laughs) sends a bunch of cocaine to America in, like, some makeshift little thing. Or maybe they would (laughs) would fly them in, like, those little little biplanes, and then they would just drop them off in the water, and then somebody would come out on a speedboat and grab them like they would do (laughs) with cocaine. (laughs) They just just throw all the kids out of the plane with a parachute. (laughs) 
a parachute and a life <laughs> jacket. Somebody goes and collects them all. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, that, that was a, that was a failed mission by him, right? Well, no, the, the submarines didn't work or something, and then some diver just went down there and saved all the kids, and he <laughs> just saved them like the normal way. Right, he just way overdid it. He There's overengineered no it, yeah. yeah. And then the guy kind of was like, "Yeah, like, Elon Musk didn't help," and people were trying to give Elon Musk credit, and the guy was like, "Come on, I did it." I want to. So wanna... Elon Musk called him a pedo. Oh, on Twitter was he? Here's the thing. The guy sued him for defamation, and Elon claimed it was a joke and did got off the hook. Wait, you just said, here's the thing. So I might, well, have, to I sue, I might have to sue you for defamation well, no, of Rovan. I heard, I heard from this YouTube video that Elon Musk, after he called him a pedo, hired some private investigators to try and prove he was. That's smart. Yeah, or to like, try and cover his or bases. Or like entrap him. Well, he was being sued for defamation. So yeah. if he could prove he really was a pedo, then he could try and say, see, I knew he was. Whatever. Of course, they came up with nothing. He was actually just a hero. Yeah. What is <laughs> who get, saved a bunch of kids from a cave? What does getting sued mean? Is it like when someone named Sue is being mean to you? Um. Yeah, you get Sue. She's on a leash. She's like, ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, and then you really? go, sick him. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's like real mean to I don't, you. I don't want to get sued. No, you don't. All right, so Elon Tusk, number one most uh, hated. Who do you got? The second thing Elon Musk did that's really stupid is, um. Oh, uh, what was it? I was going to say this one, too, but I forgot now. It doesn't matter. Go do you hate a second. It does matter. I want to remember. You can My mind doesn't it. work anymore because I don't sleep or because the Adderall has rotted it. Yeah. Has, have you noticed that you can't like, like I go to. All right. So here's an example. I can never think of French Montana's name when I need to. I just got it for the first time. I can never think like this is a new thing for me. French Montana, I can never think of his name, and he comes up way more often in my life than he should. He but. never comes up in my life. <laughs> but I can never remember. F I go, uh, who's that? I always go, Nero. who's that Moroccan rapper? <laughs> I, 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 I have a bad short term memory, very good long term memory for some reason. Like, yeah, like there will be a small thing from the podcast from a podcast yeah. like five podcasts ago. That I I'll never remember. remember jokes from the podcast anymore. Well, I I never remember them right after the podcast. Uh, after the podcast, I'm like, what did we talk about? Uh -huh. But then I remember later on. And here's the other thing I can't remember. I go to Dunkin' Donuts all the time, and my order is I get a mult multi grain bagel with cream cheese you think it's gonna make you i skinny? can never think of it no because i just the plain bagels are weird tasting does so taste, the multi-grain is like does it taste like one. planes yeah they taste yeah. like airplanes <laughs> <laughs> it is like the biplanes that the <laughs> they drop the kids you're off. more of a into pan planes pan planes yeah <laughs> um <laughs> uh i multi-grain bagel i always think whole grain oat grain <laughs> yeah it has like oats on it <laughs> Or I think of whole wheat. I always say a whole wheat bagel. They go, whole. what? They go, what? A wheat bagel? Can I get one of the brown one? It's a brown one. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta I got to work this out with, over the drive. You got to say a whole wheat. A wheat. Whole wheat, please. Uh, but um, It's actually multigrain. You were, you were talking for a second. Uh, uh, pan planes. Uh, you made me think of the song Paper Planes by MIA. And she says, get high like, or get fly like paper, get high like planes. Yeah. Get fly She's a big fan of Bill Gates, I think. Get fly like <laughs> this paper fly. Um, it can, but it doesn't normally. Well, sometimes it does because I used to work at this. That's only if you make a paper plane. Well, certain like little areas, the wind kind of tunnels, it flies the paper up in the air. I used to work at the school, and when the kids would come out to lunch for recess, there was a certain area where they drop off their bags, and sometimes a big wind twister would start and it would shoot all their homework on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean. <laughs> I like the song, you know, but the song's name, Paper Planes. I don't think mm -hmm. they say Paper Planes in the song. So you have to know the title of the song to understand to get high like paper. Yeah. Or else it doesn't make sense. So uh, MIA, if you're listening, Third World Democracy, oh. I cut more records than the KGB. No funny business. <laughs> I got a second thing about Elon Musk right here. I just remembered it. During uh, the, the disease that should not be named, uh, he promised to send a bunch of uh, those. Remember those masks were a shortage, the f special masks for hospitals? Yeah, the uh, M M95. Yeah. Uh, the M16s. Yeah, the M16 <laughs> AK-47 masks. And uh, he, uh, Tusk promised to send a bunch of those to a hospital. Mm -hmm. He said he was going to make one of his plants start manufacturing them. Like a, like a plant? He, like he a, got like 2,000 of them together and sent them. What types of plants? And 
Like a yeah, like a flowers. Yeah, he had a flower plant that was going to produce AK forty seven mass. Oh, so that's he, probably why it didn't work. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, here's what happened. He never talked to his plants, and that's why they died. Oh, he's not woke. No, he's not woke. Oh, he never he never manufactured any mass, and also the two thousand mass that he sent were not respirator masks, but. Uh, like uh, sleep apnea masks. Oh. <laughs> he sent a bunch of. So he just did it for a publicity stunt to make him seem like a good guy. Yeah. And uh, everyone remembers him sending masks, but they don't remember the fact that they were broken sleep apnea masks. I mean, people always talk shit about publicity stunts, but it's pretty smart. I wish he would have sent them fucking sleep apnea masks to me. Yeah. I, I mean, think I got that. <laughs> And I was supposed to try and set up a doctor appointment, but I didn't. I do so many publicity stunts. I'm like a publicity stunt double, essentially. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm like yeah. the uh, evil Knievel of uh, publicity stunts. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that his parents named him that? Y- yeah. <laughs> they could take With the Knievel? Yeah. So like, what would she name her son? Evil. evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna st- I'm watching the show about bikers, and this guy's name is the head of the outlaws. Is named. Uh, is it named Devil? Is it... Uh, Sons of Anarchy? No. It's what a, show about bikers? It's actually uh, based on a real undercover biker guy. It's called uh, something. It's on Hulu. I'll find. <laughs> it. I'll I'll find it for you. It's good. Yeah. Um, but it's based on true shit. I'm not. I'm, I'm watching The Accountant ten more times before I start another show. Oh, so you're trying to become <laughs> autistic? <laughs> no, I'm just a big fan of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that movie? So I was thinking, because in the movie, so I don't know why. Ben Affleck does this, but just like Daredevil, he was blind and he had like superpowers because he was blind, kind of like it made uh, his hearing yeah. and everything good. In this, he has he aut- also trained with ninjas. I know, Daredevil and whatever. in this, he has autism, but his dad trained <laughs> yeah. him to basically make his autism a superpower. Uh-huh. Um, by like, <laughs> well, but but do you think that that like uh, pro uh, R word people? Like hated that movie. Oh, for sure they <laughs> yeah. hated that movie. Or or they liked it, showing that there's like hope for people. This is one of those movies that's like people are gonna act like it's good for autistic people, but it's actually really bad for autistic people. Right. <laughs> you know, like sort of like uh it's like Rain that- Man or something, where you're like, Look, they he found a way to love his brother with his disease, and now all we do is go Hey, weird guy, can you count toothpicks? <laughs> yeah. You know, like <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say turn, it's like a movie supposed to be. I think a positive spin on that. I would probably say like ninety percent of people that have like an autistic kid or yeah. work around autism probably didn't like the movie. But the most probably ten percent were like yes. <laughs> the most awkward part is when they're trying to show this girl is falling in love with him. And it's like the reason she's falling in love with him is because she loves math and he's good at it. And yeah. I'm like, dude, this is fake. Yeah, <laughs> no she, girl no. would be like in love with you over math. I don't know. She's a uh, maybe she she's, had it. She's too. also an accountant. She was. Um, and she loved numbers, but um, <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah. Um, fuck. I had something genius <laughs> to say. <laughs> I don't. Um, I just don't think people fall in love with you for that kind of reason. And then uh, his br- the actor who was that actor that played his brother that's in every action. Dude, movie I love now? that guy. I know uh, he's good. But, but he plays uh 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 the Punisher. Oh, he's a new Punisher. Yeah. In uh the Netflix series, the old one, the old Netflix series on on uh. I only I only watched the old movie. He's also the in Punisher. uh uh the first season of Walking Dead. Shame. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's yeah. in he's in a lot of stuff. Dude, he, he's in he's in Baby Driver. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't. I know, love that guy. I don't John know if Bartholomew, noticed, John Bartholomew. That's his name. John I don't know Bartholomew. if you noticed, but there's this one actor that's a henchman in every single movie that mm-hmm. I've seen. Yeah, he's he's a taller guy. Daniel a Trejo. Bit, he's a taller guy with a long beard. <laughs> he's never. Uh, oh, he's in that. He, movie, he never has he? much dialogue. Yeah, yeah I know he, you're he talking about. people on the farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know that guy. He's. I've seen him in probably 15 movies at Dude, least. And and, uh, and on Letterbox, I look those guys up and I make a list of all the movies they're in. I have an issue. I'm mentally ill. I look up like there's a. Can lit- you can you find that guy and see how many movies? Oh, for he's sure. Been My a phone's in? on the thing though, but yeah, I can't do it right now. But uh, oh, I'll, I'll write it down. I can't here. Up. <laughs> but uh, there, have you ever seen the movie The Raid? The or, Raid or Raid? I've seen Raid Man. Raid Man. Well, yeah, when I when I have a stuffy nose. Is that Rain about Man? Adam Urbanski, the exterminator? <laughs> <laughs> Adam uh, Urbanski came by my oh, place. Yeah, Adam Urbanski got- came by my place and did my ants. If you have ants, uh, I got a hookup for you. I have uh, two ants on uh, my mom's side. Oh, yeah? And a few of my dad's side. You want to get rid of them? Yeah. 
<laughs> I got a guy. Um, um, Adam Urbanski, you guys, if you're listening to this, you missed the train on this because I actually did a special offer last week where you get a month free if you listen to the end because I did five minutes of ranting on my own that was terrible <laughs> and then made the offer at the end. Adam Urbanski won. Oh, shout out to Adam. Yep. So you got a free month. Shout out to Adam Rabansky. I'm not sure if you're on my fighting side right now or not. By the way, we got some uh, also on pa- on Patreon. Our listeners are getting a free uh, cameo for me or Mac, and we got some of those to make. Oh, yeah. Rachel Marsh, I'll send you. And I Addy, first, I forgot. Addy, we got another one. So there might be more. But if you guys want to take advantage of that deal, I think you have to the whatever. Um, I forgot to do every 20 minutes I wanted to do ads. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do ads real quick. What um, time is it? How long? Oh, we have like five minutes left. Okay. Uh, we got to do ads, though, so let me hit the... Uh, wait. That's not loud enough. Oh, well, let's take a quick break. Uh, guys, we got ads coming up. Um, do you like... Or let's spill the tea. Oh, okay. Let's spill the tea for Cool Steeper Club. That's right. I heard a secret. Uh, Dan Dosimo is gay. Yep, that's, <laughs> that's actually it. The tea... <laughs> So every week we spill the tea for <laughs> our favorite company, uh-huh. Cool Steeper Club. Shout out to the Steeper Club. Um, cool the, Steeper Club. It's one of the best Shout companies the Club. of all time. Um, they ship um, a package of cold brew tea bags, giant tea bags that make you big pitchers of awesome different types of tea, and you get different cool boxes. And they have... Teas ranging from uh, Kenyan Black, that's your favorite, right? I love the Kenyan Black. Yeah. I voted for him twice. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I didn't vote. <laughs> oh, okay. Are Barack you... Obama, it reminds me of. Oh, okay. He's a Kenyan Black. I get the I get the cranberry Kenyan Black. Nice. Yeah, it tastes just like a cranberry Obama. Oh, nice. Yeah, and um, they also have, if, you're, if you live on a plantation and you want to sit around and drink a... Uh, Drink a nice sweet tea while you <laughs> watching the the cotton grow. Yeah. And the tractors uh getting the harvest, not people. And then go <laughs> <laughs> on the plantation. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a modern plantation. I wonder you can mix this tea with a uh, lemonade and make your own Arnold Palmer, probably. But if you put it's, a bl- can you really make your have you ever made your own Arnold Palmer or have you ever just drank it? I I'll, I'll make sweet tea when I'm sitting on my rock and chair. I might try the- it. Oh yeah, you could definitely make your own Ar- Arnold Palmer. <laughs> you you can order an Arnold Palmer, Palmer at like a restaurant. I know, but it's probably the stuff from the can. Uh uh-uh. uh no. I would just use the can. No, they just put. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I've never made a PBJ. I always order that uh, with from separate peanut butter and jelly. No, I always get the one where it's the jelly and the peanut butter mixed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the laziest shit of all time. I know. I've never, I've never had that before. I don't know what it's even called. It's so weird looking in the store. Yeah. I just picture getting all messy when you like start using it. It gets yeah. all mixed. It would gross me out. Yeah, but uh, I, I've had it before. It's not good. Um, <laughs> it's not even good. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I prefer separate but equal when it comes to my <laughs> when it comes to my peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Not you my do crunchy or smooth. Um, smooth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I used to be crunchy guy. I've switched to smooth in my later years. You know what's not good? I got Michael Cooper teeth. They're yeah. sensitive. At, at like Whole Foods, you can like uh, grind peanuts and make your own peanut butter. What? Kind of. I didn't know that. I don't know if they still do that. But I don't they, go to Whole Foods. I call it Whole Paycheck. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's it, too it, expensive. It's like it's like your whole paycheck you're spending. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> So, I didn't put that together, but that does make sense right? why I call it whole paycheck because <laughs> yeah. it does like take my whole paycheck Essentially, to buy food yeah. there. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Bezos. But before we get too off track, go to coolsteeperclub.com um, it, and they'll uh, give you 20% off with promo 25% code. 25% off. 25%? That's mm-hmm. 5% more than 20. Yep. Uh, subscription. They send you like a thing to make the tea in, a big tea uh, th- reservoir. I don't know what it's called. A big pitcher. Pitcher. Yeah, your, the little your, screen. Your brain, your brain is melting. Your, it has like a little screen in it where you put the tea inside, uh, like a the receptacle. Uh huh. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put it in your fridge overnight. It makes the tea, and then you drink it all day. I actually already drank half a pitcher t- today. Nice. I like how you uh, can't even like say really basic yeah. words. <laughs> it also has a top. <laughs> it has like a top a, and a, a bottom a thing that goes on the top. Yeah, to make it's sure it's got a thing you hold on to to lift it. I think. Uh, Put your hand um, on it. But yeah, cool, coolsuperclub.com, promo code bad comedy. Also, join patreon.com slash bad comedy for the good episodes. It's not slash. Cool Steeper Club and in the promo box, bad comedy. 
Pro, yeah, promo code bad comedy for that. Yeah. And then I said for Patreon. I think I said it right. Patreon.com slash bad comedy. Yeah, for, yeah. And then Patreon.com slash bad comedy is where half of our episodes are. That's where the good episodes are with our guests. Yeah. This one is more ad comedy podcast. Yeah. So this is where you we... You want to hear Scott Darling? Yeah. We got two episodes with Scott Darling, famous guy. Yep. We also got Ham Talent, um, a former enemy. Yep. Possible enemy still. Possible we, we need, enemy. We need to have a war council. Next yeah. time he's in town, um, I don't think he'll ever do the podcast again. But yeah, we want, <laughs> we want. Maybe I could trick him and tell him I'm doing a new podcast, and then just bring him back here uh, and do this one again. I bet he would come on <laughs> if Luchin came on with him. Ooh, I bet he would. I say I'm doing a new podcast with Alex Luchin, and he'll, he'll come here, and it'll be me and you and Luchin. <laughs> <laughs> he would be pissed or give him, a, give him a different address especially because now his time is valuable like he's always doing a bunch of events this time is not well, like, last time he was in town he was like i gotta go meet with the bar stool guys and then they were there cool. and they're all tall ham this is what i you say you can tell they're famous just because they're tall the bar stool guys they're not cool well <laughs> they're just tall i mean big cat's tall yeah same as big that cat but, guy. but pft his fuck his good guys. buddy is short now paul thomas anderson uh, I don't think so. <laughs> PT, PTA. <laughs> um, so yeah, join the Patreon. So like these these normal episodes are just we just kind of practice for the uh, guest episodes. Those ones are kind of maybe the best thing ever made. Would you say? Yeah, it's up there with uh, that and coming. Yeah, <laughs> and the Crancel. Yeah, um, I, I'm too. I'm good at making two things: podcasts and come. Mm. I'm <laughs> are, we getting, are we getting demonetized? <laughs> I'm good. At, I'm good at making tooth ings. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's when you put ings in your teeth. Michael Cooper is good at losing two things. <laughs> two things. Tooth His tooths. Ings. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, we are at an hour. We should, let's get in a little bit more comedy after the ads. Let's do like two more minutes. All right. Well, uh, this for the people. Oh wait, who suck wait you didn't finish your list. You didn't finish your list. Oh, so I put Elon Tusk as number one uh, sucker. This is my list of suckers. Um, then I put uh, Bezos because um, Be- it was bees. Wait, because, oh uh, wait, Ooh. because he owns Whole Foods and that takes my whole paycheck every time oh, I shop there. Yeah, and I'm sick of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm glad we kind of figured we kind of figured out what that meant. Yeah, what that old saying meant. You you got Crohn's. You should shop at Bowel Foods. What uh, <laughs> foods for your bowel? What? <laughs> no, I go to half. I go to half foods. And Jeff Bowzos. I go to half foods. <laughs> Jeff Bowzos. Bowzos. <laughs> you ever play Bowzos buckets? No, but <laughs> it's where you throw a ball in a asshole. <laughs> my, my favorite Mario. Character. You throw a ping pong ball in different guys' assholes. <laughs> My favorite clowns assholes. Uh, <laughs> Mario character is uh is Beezer. Ooh. I like Louis B. Oh uh, really? <laughs> Louis B. I like Beerio. Or Warrior oh, B. 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 War. <laughs> while while Louis B. <laughs> T- I watched the T- Mario. Did you see the new Mario movie? No. Well, I think it's should gonna I think it's gonna finally end Italian stereotypes. <laughs> Not <laughs> should I watch it? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's a it's a nice like nothing watch. Yeah, so like, it's just fun. I like good movies and I like ironically bad movies. Oh well this is kind of just like a movie to have on. Like I, I it's like well uh, I like I like movies that aren't intentionally bad. Er, like not intentionally ironically bad. Yeah. I like to watch them because they're bad sometimes. Yeah. Scary Movie Three, though, you should get into is legitimately the best movie ever made. That's interesting. Um, it, I think, it, it needs a post mortem, whatever yeah. Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya. So I got invited to watch the new Dune movie. I said, "Been there, doing that." Yeah, I, I'd I'm say good. I, I'm good. I, I'd say, "Give me a Dune Academine. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll snort that. <laughs> <laughs> Dune. Yeah, yeah, pretty disappointing that wasn't oh. about a mountain of powder drugs. Yeah, a whole dune. Yeah, yeah that's what I order. I say one dune, please. I go, my dog's already got sandworms. Yeah, that's right. All right, <laughs> All right. who else do you got? <laughs> uh, I guess after that, I'll put uh, Bill Gates. I just don't trust that guy. Okay, because of that one thing. Well, I go, open the gate. Let's see what's behind it. That's true. He's kind of uh, yeah. closed off by the gates. Why'd you put 5G in my head? <laughs> five, well, five, yeah. maybe he put five grand in your head. Yeah, 
Dude, Dude, instead of giving us 5G, he should have gave us 5Gs. Or 5Bs. Yeah, 5Bs is cool, too. Then uh, <laughs> I'll give, Zucker, I'll give uh, Zuckerberg the next least, because uh-huh. he invented Facebook, and that's my favorite website. <laughs> <laughs> so he's low on the list. Yeah. Because I love Facebook. <laughs> yeah, Facebook's You good. know what I like about Facebook is all the... Uh, Old, the memes for like that are like longing for old days. Yeah. Like remember when we used to play in the creek and drink from the hose? Yeah. I like those kind of memes. I like uh, I like memes where it's like um remember we used to have to walk barefoot to class yeah, uh, yeah. twenty miles in and, the uh, snow. Thank God our parents hit us that one. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise we would be freaks like this current generation. We'd all be non binary, but yeah. thank God our dad hit us with a belt and now we know who we are. My dad always posts like <laughs> when I grew up I had to Shovel shit, shovel pig shit, and then <laughs> and then go uh, at five a.m. and then go to school at seven a.m. and Oof. then I would get back and work back on the farm again when I got home. And now all these Zanzibars, <laughs> all these people named Zanzibar, all these, uh, never done a day yeah. of work in their life. My dad always posts stuff like that. Yeah, he actually hasn't. I don't want to. I don't want to defame. <laughs> Does he dad. really? Or no. no. Okay. I mean, it, your it, dad's cool. My dad is very cool. Your dad's kind of hip. I feel like he is. He, he kind of looks like Jeffrey Epstein a little bit. He's he lo- cool. He looks a lot like Jeff Epstein. Yeah, he's like, yeah, Jeffrey Epstein is cool. He doesn't. He doesn't like my on that. He loves underwater submarines. Weirdly, <laughs> my dad does. Yeah, <laughs> that only fit nine year olds. <laughs> <laughs> well, he also loves biplanes. Oh, yeah. And I, one time I went in his plane, and yeah. there was like little life jackets, weird, and parachutes. So like children's life jackets? Yeah, maybe. Or, I don't, I don't or know. Or maybe for pets. Pets probably, yeah. Pet life jackets. Or maybe my dad's a drug trafficker. Yeah, maybe that wasn't a life jacket. Maybe that was a giant bag of drugs. Or a Rife that jacket. That was just like sh- you put around your neck. Matt Rife probably wears like little <laughs> kid life jackets. That would be cool. So, so he looks A life strong. preserver, right? Inside it, you wear it. It's all drugs inside of it. Life. And then you go to Lollapalooza and they're like, you can't bring that in. You go, it's got my, it's my medicine. <laughs> it's my... uh. What do you call it? Your like your dog? Yeah, I need this because I have a disease. Yeah, yeah. Then you sell Molly from inside of it to everybody at the festival. I like that a lot. Party. Mm -hmm. Um, Wait, what about this? It's a so. uh, Then Dan Cook, then Babbage. I am done. (laughs) Then Dan Cook, then Babbage. Yeah. Um, Why is Dan Cook uh, so so well liked by you? I guess. Um, I'm just still holding out that he'll come on the sh- podcast sometime. Okay. <laughs> and then why do you well, like Charles Babbage? Just kidding. Well, he invented the I computer. Know, he's the coolest, <laughs> he's the coolest yeah, he man rolls. in the world. Uh, um, uh, he made my whole life possible. Business idea. Okay. If we didn't have Charles Babbage, we'd be living like The Walking Dead. They mm-hmm. don't have any computers. Yeah. <laughs> what about like, The Walking? What about The Walking Alive? Yeah. It's just about humans. Yeah, like, I thought The Walking Dead was about how everyone's on their phone nowadays. You should do Walking Bread. Uh, the Walking Bread. Yeah. You talk. Sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sounds like a treat. No, I have a business idea. So, you know, they have Lifesavers like mints. Lightsaber. Lifesavers. Oh, okay. Mint, you, mint you, style. Yeah, Lifesavers. I like those. Or, uh, but no, but uh, we can get... So that's already a brand. Okay. I have. Uh, we need something new. Well, we're going to go against them. We're, we're going to be competition. We're entering the game. This is Life Preservers. Oh. And they last way longer. So instead of life savers, they're called life preservers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I like it. But but the the flavor lasts way longer. It's preserved, and it's like double thick. Yeah, more preservatives. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like it, it. And there's a lot of preservatives. Totally. In yeah. It. yeah. So also we can make those. The uh, shelf life is way. We can longer. also make those life preservers that are full of Molly as well. It's like I, a, a, a I like that. Yeah. Like it, we can have different aspects. Well, of our yeah. Wait, did you say li- did you, did you say life savers full or life preservers? Full? Life preservers. Okay, oh my good. god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost just got a sue. That's our brand name is life preservers. <laughs> they were gonna sick that lady sue on us. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to get. I don't want Come sue to get us. me. I feel like sues are, are kind of like Karens. Like, yeah, you know. for sure. I. It's definitely uh, those names are of the same. I age. feel bad for my my aunt Karen on my dad's side of the family. Mm. She has a Karen haircut. Ooh. But she's the nicest. Change lady. that. First of all, she's always had it though. Just get something new, bitch. But she lives in Tyersville, Iowa. Maybe she's getting a lot of fucking dick with that haircut. And she doesn't want to change it. Well, her like, her well, husband, my uncle, everyone's trying to fuck me. Well, Uncle Dino. That's yeah. why I got this cool haircut. Uncle Dino's hitting that shit. Uncle Dino. Yeah. <laughs> Your uncle's a dinosaur. Yeah. He's a man, Dino, yeah. dude. He's a Yoshi. Yeah, he like runs the town of Dyersville. 
Ooh, Dyer's. Yeah, he's like the. Uh, I used to deliver pizza in a town called Dyer, Indiana. Uh, yeah. If you kind of if if you mix like let's say Rockefeller, yeah. Carnegie, um, and I hate to stereotype, but Dutch people do not tip. Really? It's legit. Yeah. Dutch Fuck people. Dutch people. They're, They're all over Dyer, and they this motherfucker would. He would pay me less than what it was worth and then give me a coupon to get to the... It's like, you won't even give me the fucking coupon. Well, you want to know why? That bitch. You don't know why that is? Hated that guy. They got to save for their wooden shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. So you got to think about that. I hate... Oh, I don't hate Dutch people. Yeah. Um, I, guys, take it, we, I take it back. Guys, They're we, my friends again. We still have the GoFundMe for wooden shoes and beekeeper outfits. Um, uh, I bet we get a lot of emails after this. People are like, that's true. Dutch people don't tip. Yeah. You know, like, I'm glad you finally said yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Same as uh, Finnish people. The, you know what I learned, though, legit from delivering pizzas in Indiana, where it was, like, really poor and really rich gated neighborhoods? Like, St. John is, like, the most rich neighborhood, in, and it's, like, right next to, like, these poor fucking shitty... What is? St. John. It's, like, the richest town in Indiana or something. Okay, I don't know it. Uh, it's, it's whatever. It doesn't matter. But... uh. The people who don't tip are the rich and the poor. It was like if you go to a trailer park, no one tips. If you go to a gated community, no one tips. You got to hit like middle, well, the gated com- only the middle class people tip. Well, the gated community, no, the the upper class will tip twenty no. percent flat, but never more. No, really, no, not when I was delivering pizzas. Oh, pizzas, yeah. The the rich, uh, the gated communities never tipped at all. No, barely. I mean, like once in a while, as much they tipped as much as the trailer parks. Really, yes. The trailer parks. Well, as often, but probably more money. No. Really? No. Yeah, they don't tip. They're cheap as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. My mom would always, we would order Lou Malnati. She'd always tip $5. And then, maybe, yeah, maybe you guys were cool. Well, I mean, no, I'm not. just saying my experience as a pizza guy, where you're going. Actually, you would, we as pizza guys would see the list of addresses and it was sort of competitive because you know right. certain houses were regulars who don't tip. Certain ones are good. You want a certain route. You want the certain guys. It's kind of yeah. like when you're uh, Halloween going for candy. Yeah, yeah. So if you knew it was like a gated neighborhood or a fucking uh, trailer park, you're like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, a waste of, waste of your time. Uh, is standard delivery 10%? I don't know. I always tip twenty because I don't know. I do too. Yeah. I, I do. I do fifteen. I think. But but then when it comes to, I always tip above twenty percent. I tip like at restaurants unless they're a bitch. Yeah. Then I, I, I only I, I only tip less than twenty if it's like the tip at the counter when they're like. Oh yeah. Like, I'm just like. Oh, are they turn the thing to you? Yeah, yeah. I still tip them because I know they make shit money. But I mean, I it's tip stupid. A, I, I. They they should just get paid. It more. all dep- <laughs> it all it all it all depends what mood I'm in. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I hate those. Yeah, like Starbucks or whatever. Yeah, but those people, I don't think they get paid as servers. Like, I think they get paid normal, uh, hourly, like Starbucks people. Yeah, they do. So they don't, they don't get. But they, that sucks. I, <laughs> hourly wages. I think Starbucks. Pays I'm sure well. is minimum wage. I think Dunkin' Donuts doesn't pay well. Yeah, it's funny because you can't t- tip at Dunkin' Donuts, but you can at Starbucks. Yeah. I think. Well, they just hire all their family. Yeah, essentially, true. it's just a bunch of a big Indian family. Our Singh did a really funny joke last night. He's Indian. He said his parents were from the two fighting Indian families, the ones that owned Subways and the ones that owned Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> it was so funny. I, I am <laughs> curious as to, uh, like, because it's very tough to distinguish Indian and Pakistani people. Yeah, because they're the same. Aside from the dot. Do you know the history? Yeah. They mm-hmm. kicked all the fucking they're muslims all, out they're or whatever all the, they're all from the same area yeah. just differing religions yeah 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 um what do they call the, the, the only the whatever. only the only way you could tell the difference is normally their name mm-hmm. um so i want to do pray tell P- patel oh P- Gu- patel. P- patel is i was indian. gonna say pray tell Gu- <laughs> Gu- Gu- gupta is indian you know the phrase pray tell no um it's oh. a, isn't that a phrase <laughs> Uh, we just <laughs> when we have Sonal all on, I'm gonna ask like, do you know uh, last name Patel? This guy last name Patel. It's like yeah. it's like by far the most common name. Last uh, name. I know, I know. Like every, I used to work at a hospital. Yeah, everybody in India. <laughs> I knew like 20 guys named Patel who were, when I worked at a hospital. It's doc- like it's all like the doctors. Patel, Gupta, and one more thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I work. I tell you, I work for a place that mostly it's like it's a uh, European based and Canada based. Toronto and Berlin and New York are the main places and my name is the weirdest name everyone i work with is named like sujin and and uh dude crazy names i like that uh huge zanzibar <laughs> i'm trying to think anmol 
Oh, A N M O L, animal. That's that's a that's like oh, that's kind of like a wall. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I oh, mean, remember a wall? Shirag. I got a guy on my team named Shirag. Remember a wall nation? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> no sale. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> but um, I have like the weird name at work. Like every, yeah. Jason is weird. Everyone's named like crazy shit. I used to work for a bunch of Indians. Jan. I used to work for a bunch it's of a guy. Indians. <laughs> uh, feathers not doubts. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I work with a bunch of them guys. Yeah, and I had the weirdest name because it was Mac. Yeah, and then there was like sitting, uh, <laughs> sitting eagle. Yeah, flying rabbit. I used to work with a bunch of Muslims. I had the weird name Jason. Everyone else was named Muhammad. Every oh, single really? one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Muhammad was so, the most popular name in the world. Yeah. I worked <laughs> I worked with a lot of white men and mm. um everyone's name was Michael. My name was Mac. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, it's not it's kind of close, but it doesn't make yeah. it doesn't cut it. I worked with like eight women named Patrice. Yeah. Oh. Only, oh, I, I, there was I, a weird guy named Patrice. <laughs> he was a famous comedian. Oh. He worked with us. I worked with Patrice O'Neill and his brother Patrick, his white brother. Patrick. Yeah, mm-hmm. I fucking hate that guy. He was Irish. Um, Stupid whitey. <laughs> all right, folks. Um, thanks for listening. Um, I, didn't, I forgot to do sound effects because I was so excited about our conversation. Um, let's, we, that sucks. Uh, um, we maybe, suck. Uh, Brian Crow. <laughs> um. Oh, demon. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um, we're going to try to have a theme song in a couple weeks here. Um, and it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> and uh, uh, it might be Snap Your Fingers. And it might be a Christmas song. But I can tell you one thing. We're going to take a bite out of comedy next week. Thank you so much for listening, Jason. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. No problem. Call me Big Lizard. They call me uh, Charles Manatee. Big Lizard, Charles Manatee. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Mac, thank you for coming on. Jason, do you have any plugs? Uh, Check out End of the Line Comedy Show once in a while. It's at uh, Nighthawk. Check out uh, Ha 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 to Hell on 420. That's going to be a good one. We got Junior Stopka headlining. Oh, really? Wait, wait, on 420? On 420 at Reggie's. Oh, fuck yeah. I was playing on... April 20th. We got a weed show, and we got the funniest guy ever, Junior Stopka headlining, and it's going to be music and comedy. Yeah. Ha Ha to Hell. Uh, if you had, Reggie's, if you guys PM. don't know Junior Stopka, Google Senior Gopka. Yeah. And you'll find him. Uh, I, I, oh, I, there's a restaurant in Chicago I found called Gorkas. Gor- <laughs> G- Gorkas? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I just like the name. I like that too. Gorkas. I like that quite a bit. Um, <laughs> y- uh, you guys have uh, Instagrams for those, right? Just tell people to follow yeah, those. Follow, and, and then they can see the shows. Follow us on Instagram. Well, they can, they can see when the show is. End of the are. Line Comedy. and They're regular shows. One's monthly, one's bi monthly. Yeah, at End of the Line one's Comedy and at Ha Ha to Hell, I think. Yeah. Um, all right, for me, follow at Bad Boy of Comedy. Um, follow at money.with.mac for financial education. Still waiting to get paid for you plugging that? Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, well, I'll, I'll pay you from the condom ad. Um, <laughs> and uh, you get paid with the condoms, with the little condoms. Fuck those condoms, dude! I can't fit the. I can't fit my girlfriend if I wear them. <laughs> no, it's for, my it's tight a, girlfriend. It says ribbed for his pleasure when you're having sex with men. Well, I can't even use them. <laughs> Wait, does it say ribbed for his pleasure because the ribs are on the inside for me? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, condom companies. Why don't you put the ribs on the inside? I want to be pleasured too, dude. <laughs> ribs on both sides. <laughs> All right, um, but follow me at Bad Boy at Comedy mainly on all platforms, every single platform really. Follow at Bad Comedy Podcast. Um, watch our videos on YouTube. Listen on Spotify or anywhere you can get podcasts. That's where all these are. Again, if you want the good episodes, go to patreon.com slash badcomedy. It's $3.99, which is essentially $3. You add in inflation or subtract inflation. Uh, it's been the same price for 20 years at least. You're essentially making money by joining easily. the podcast easily. Easily. It's not even close. Yeah. And you don't need to ask Money Mac for that. What was yeah. That? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I've done the math. You make money if you join. Um, and... All I got to say, dude, dudes, uh, <laughs> keep on keeping on and we'll see you when the moon hits the earth.